Wow, we pulled every single Christmas item from that back corner. I I think we have more Christmas decorations than Walmart right now. Kid you not. Holy moly, this is a lot of stuff, but we can do this. We can do this. Hi guys, welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, we're gonna be doing the Kamari method on all of the Christmas decor, part one. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder and a recovering one at that. And I show you the messes. <laughs> and I tell you my mental struggles. And we declutter my hoarded house in small sections at a time so I can make good decisions to let things go and make decluttering a positive experience. So we're diving right into the Kamari Christmas. And oh my goodness, there is so much stuff. So that's why this is part one. And I just, I love Christmas, don't you guys? I just love Christmas. I love the feeling of it and the spirit of it and the joy and the, you know, joy and goodwill towards men. And it makes me so incredibly happy. So what you guys are going to be about to see is decades worth of stuff. That's all. I just never got rid of everything. It's just decades worth of stuff. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. All right, everyone. So the first thing we have to do is we got to move these tubs and totes and this shelf over here. And we're going to take it to this section for now. The idea is that there's so much Christmas stuff that we're going to set it all up right in here. So whew, we better get started on this. it's time to go to the crawl space where we're storing all of the Christmas decorations and I had an awesome subscriber call it the Christmas cave which I think was hilarious and so on point so this is the Christmas cave where all of the Christmas decorations and bins and ornaments and everything is stored each and every year and there is just so much stuff packed away in here there's things that i forgot about and it just it goes really far back i don't know if you can see it right there but it goes pretty far back so all right everyone let's start pulling all of this stuff out There's the empty space. It's all emptied out. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. We fit a lot of things into this little crawl space in the basement. And I, I cannot remember the last time I've seen it completely emptied like this. So this is probably going to be a really good time for us to just quickly dust and clean and throw like the trash that is on the floor out because I don't know if I'll ever see it that empty again. <laughs> All right, everyone, there you have it. Everything is pulled out, every tote, every candy cane, <laughs> every miscellaneous thing, every ornament, everything from that Christmas cave is pulled out and laid out in this back corner of the basement. And I'm not going to lie, I am a little overwhelmed on just how much stuff we had crammed back there. 
And when you just look at it all, display it out, it's just, wow, this is a lot of stuff. This is like 25 totes plus, but it's okay. We, we can do this. We are strong enough. We can do this and it'll be good to see what on earth we have. All right, guys. So I just wanted to take a moment because I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling like really anxious right now and overwhelmed and scared and just maybe a little embarrassed because it's just so much stuff. And I, I just got to be raw with my emotions, guys. I am, I'm a little overwhelmed, right? I, I have ADHD and sometimes that kind of gets in the way of categorizing and organizing things. And I kind of don't know where to start. And that's why I'm getting overwhelmed. And when I'm getting overwhelmed, then the anxiety kicks in. And I also, I don't want to let you guys down either. I don't want to let you guys down. So we got to this point, we got it all out. And my mind's like, now what? And this is what most hoarders feel, that anxiety of like, oh my God, I'm so overstimulated. There's so much stuff. I don't even know where to start. So I think maybe right now I just need to just take a breather, just pause for a moment, just say a little prayer and just really just reset and regroup and see how I can really start this because, you know, it takes up the whole corner. <laughs> All the bins take out the whole corner. I can't even dump everything out because I don't have enough basement room. And maybe that's making me a little nervous too. So don't worry. We just got to pray, reset. We got this. We, we can do this. All right, guys. So I took about an hour and a half break just to regroup, reset, and just pray about it. Pray about how I'm going to start this. And I started thinking like, am I organized enough with this? Do I need to hire a professional to do this? And then I thought, no, I do have organizational skills already in me. Cause look, this was probably seven years ago. I started this. I started labeling the bins, right? And I would label like this, basement crawl space, number 17, Christmas kids room, Christmas crafts, right? And I had an index card and I put them in the box and I would label each card. And look, I even color coded it by making Christmas red. Now, I didn't think of that on my own. I think maybe I saw it on Pinterest. I don't know what I saw it on. I like for us to do to move forward and to keep my anxiety calm is that I'm going to pull out the bins in different categories, meaning we're going to have a Christmas living room category. We're going to have a Christmas outside decorations category. We will also have a kids one, Christmas tree and ornaments, and then miscellaneous so that I can kind of see what the heck is going on. everyone so that was a ton of work but I think Marie Kondo would agree that with this amount of Christmas decorations this would be the best way to do her method which was we broke it all down into different categories and we will do a Kamari method on each category that way I can see how much of each thing there is like this right here these are outside decorations, right? So now all the outside decorations are together. Moving right over here, this, and then these two rows, they are mostly living room and kitchen. So this is living room and kitchen decorations. This right over here, these are Christmas ornaments. Coming on down, Christmas ornaments. This big gray tub bin. This is where we store our Christmas tree. We come over here, these two things. This is all Christmas bags, t 
tissue paper, bows, boxes, wrapping paper. That's in its own category now. This one is nice and small. This is actually the kids stuff, like just kids crafts and kids room. So that is that category right there. And then moving on to Big Mama, this right here, oh God. All of this is miscellaneous, guys. And it's miscellaneous because the problem was that the end of each Christmas, it's January, stuff was just thrown into bags and it was never properly organized, right? We'll address this as well. That's a lot of stuff, but whew. All right, guys, I think this is good. I think this will work. My anxiety's calm and at ease and I can kind of picture how to do this now. All right, everyone, starting with the outside decorations. So a lot of these we're probably gonna keep, like here are reindeer, you know, these are the swags that go underneath of the window. We can let this go. This, I can tell when I put it there, it's an empty box, tossy, tossy. There's no need to keep it. This is our front wreath, guys. I made that about two years ago, so that's our front door wreath. This box right here that the doggy's in, it's tossy, tossy. We don't need that because doggy doesn't go back in the box because it's a pain in the butt and it would ruin doggy. So we're not going to do that. I do have some extra wreaths over here. I'm not gonna lie, we have some extra wreaths. And one of them, let me see, gets, no, actually there's two that get plugged in. So let me just pull this apart real quick. All right, everyone, so this one, gets plugged in so we can keep that because it goes under the bay window. I'm gonna keep the one that looks a little better. And you know what? I'll hang this one outside. We'll let go of this one. This one can actually go. And I feel good. We can let that go, that's fine. We can let it go. I only need two outside. And then I have this over here. Oh. This is more of a centerpiece for a candle. You know what? Let's just let it go. I don't need it. We can sell this. We can let that go. All right, everyone. So for this episode, part one, I'm feeling really good about this. We are about six hours worth of work in because we did a lot, right? Things that were on this side of the basement, we moved it over there. Then we went into the crawl space. We pulled all that out. Then once it was all pulled out, we rearranged it and organized it into categories so it made it a little easier to do a Kamari method on so much stuff. And this will be a series that is running all through November. We'll just every week, every Monday, it will come out. And I actually am going to take a vow because I feel, I feel like this Christmas, I'm not buying any wrapping paper. I'm not buying any new decor. I'm not buying, I might not even buy that many gifts. I think I'm gonna create a lot of crafts and create a lot of regifting for presents and just really use what we have for Christmas. This is perfect timing. As I'm recording this, it's November 1st, so this is the perfect time to do this. So let me go ahead, show you the tossy tossy pile that I have for this episode. All right, everyone, here it is. This is the tossy tossy pile for part one of the Kamari Method Christmas series. And overall, feeling really good. I feel so much better and so much more confident moving forward. So this will be successful series. We are going to recycle it as best as we can. And I also have some pieces like this right here that we will be selling on Facebook Marketplace. I guess I better go get a box and label it so it's all together because in November, that's when people start to look for Christmas decorations. And if people are gonna be home more, well, they're gonna want prettier stuff to hang up, right? So overall, guys, I feel good. I feel confident. I know this will be a successful series. I know these tossy tossy piles are going to get bigger and bigger with each episode. And I'm just, this is a good thing, guys. This is a good thing. If you have any suggestions or tips or advice, please, please leave them in the comment section below. I truly appreciate your help and your guidance. So I think I'm going to wrap up this video. And I just want to say, man, thank you. 
so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.